Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I paint the Emperor's Finest, the Adeptus Astartes, aka the Space Marines. Starting off with a model based in Wraithbone, I recommend that you rattle can it. We are going to put a coat of Girth Hound Orange on the model. This is a contrast paint, so make sure you let it completely dry before moving on to the next step. Next, we're going to take Mechanicus Standard Gray. We're going to paint it all over the rifle, the shoulder pads, the knee pads, and the stripe on the helmet. Try not to get this on the orange, but if you do, it's okay. I'll show you how you touch it up later. Then we're going to take pallet rich flesh and you're going to want to paint all the spots you think are leather like the gun holsters, the pistol holsters, the ammo packs. And if you do get some of the gray on the orange, this is where you're going to want to touch those little spots up as well. Just hit it with the pallet rich flesh and I'll show you what to do later. Also, carefully paint in the eyes. Next, we're going to take lead belcher. We're going to paint the wings that are on the chest plate, paint the barrels on the rifle, the magazine on the rifle, and I also do the end of the rifle. And then if your rifle has a skull and wings, paint the wings then on that as well. And then also paint the vents on the back. Then, you're going to want to take Abbott on black and paint in all the joints. Basically where the armor doesn't touch, like behind the knees, the elbows, the hips. Next, we take Zandari dust and then we paint in all the purity seals. Then we take Mephisto on red and we paint in all the wax part of the purity seals. Next, we take Retributa armor, paint the skull on the chest plate, paint the top of the wings, and do the same on the rifle as well. wildwood and paint in all the leather. This is another contrast paint so please let this completely dry before moving on to the next step. And then I paint the eyes with the Waywatcher Green which is a technical glaze paint. It will give the eyes a nice little glow effect to them. Next, I based the model with some Elmer's glue and some dried up coffee grounds. You could call the model done here if you wanted to, but I'm also going to highlight it and I'll show you how I do that next. So for the highlighting, I take Uriel Yellow, or I don't know how you exactly pronounce it, but it's Y-R-I-E-L Yellow, and I run it through all the edges of the armor. And then I take Celestia Gray, I run it down the shoulder pads, the edges of the knee pads, and the hard corners of the rifle. Then I take Nun Oil, I run it in all the recesses of the armor, and I also put it in the shoulder pads where the gray meets the orange. It'll give it a nice little depth effect. And finally, I take Iron Breaker, 
and I give all the metals just a very fine highlight in the edges of the wings, the skulls, and the tips of the barrels. And that's it. If you've made it this far, I would just like to say thank you. Uh, feedback is always appreciated, whether it's positive or negative. I do take the critiques into consideration when I make my videos. The biggest critique I got from my last video was that my voice is bad, I guess. I really did try to speak more clearly and enunciate this time. Uh, so yeah, please do leave your feedback. Thank you guys again.